Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am super excited about what I'm leaning against. I finally got the lathe that I bought, well, bartered for like six months ago, nine months ago, almost a year. The guy who owned it before me bought a bigger one because he needed a larger diameter on the spindle to fit a two inch tube through. And I did a little bit of engineering work and he gave me this old one. It currently does not work. It's set up for a three phase motor and I do not have three phase in my garage. I only have single phase. So we need to do a little bit of retrofitting to get this thing to work. To do that, we need to start taking it apart. So I'm gonna take apart the belt drive for the spindle. I'm also going to be taking apart the cross slide assembly because it's not working properly. There are a couple broken teeth on the drive system, which means something is gummed up. So I'm gonna go through and clean everything up. It is a beautiful day outside, so I'm going to crack open the garage and I'm gonna start taking this thing apart. So let's get started. It has been a few days since I finished taking everything apart. And I've gone ahead and I've cleaned everything and I've put a fresh coat of black paint on everything as well. The old motor, like I said, was a three phase, one horsepower motor, something like that, uh, 1725 RPMs. This is a one and a half horsepower single phase motor and it spins at 1725 as well. The maximum amperage that this can pull is about 17 amps and I'm on a 20 amp circuit that I know has no other big appliances on it. So this is just kind of like right at the max 
of what my house can handle with 120 volts. Um, it is already attached to the base that I have painted and re-lubed up and adjusted everything. So all I have to do with this assembly is just bolt it right back into the cabinet. The next part in the middle is this. This is the belt tensioner. This is used to be able to change the pulley sizes to be able to adjust the speed. So that is already pre-assembled. I did a couple modifications to it as well. That is the easy part. Just bolts in, everything gets lined up and it goes. The hard part is going to be the idler shaft. I can't figure out where a couple of burrs are that's making these hard to push together. So I'm gonna have to use a press or something to put this together. The hard part's gonna be that I have to align the first pulley with the pulley system on the motor, and then I'll need to adjust the drive pulley with the pulley on the spindle. Um, and I'm not exactly sure where those are now, because I have a new motor and this distance is a little bit different. The way that this was originally aligned was with a couple snap rings and spacers. The aluminum pulley, this guy already had a set screw. So I'm going to use that to locate it correctly. And I had to add a set screw on this guy and you can see right here. Um, drilled, tapped it, it's an M6. The rest of the machine is English, but I only have metric fasteners now. So this is an M6. And that'll be able to tighten down on that shaft in the right location for the top pulley. The last thing that I did was rewire the motor with the existing wires and rewired the switch that's on the machine to be able to work with the new motor. Um, the other one I don't think had forward and reverse or reverse and forward was switched. I don't remember. It now has forward and reverse with this one and a half horsepower single phase motor, which was an interesting two hours trying to figure that out. Let's start from the bottom, get the motor in, get the adjuster in, and then we can work on the pulley system and finish getting it all built together. So hopefully by the end of this day, I'll be able to have a spinning spindle and started work on reassembling the cross slide gearbox.
All right, let's wrap this video up. It's a couple days after I finished the uh, lathe and I've given it a good shake down. Um, I've already machined all the parts for the truck frame and we'll be getting that finished in one of the next videos. Um, not really sure what order these are gonna come out at. Got it together, it works great. The crossfeed actually does work now. The original owner said something was wrong with the, the gear inside the crossfeed, but it's fine. Once the gear teeth were all on the gear, um, everything spun just fine. I can select the pitch with the settings down here. And I pull this knob down and I push this knob up and it'll cross feed in. And then I can drop this down. And I think this might be what he's talking about. You can auto cross feed back. So you pull this up and then you pull it up even more and that pulling it up even more, you really have to pry on to get it to, to pull across. But I'm not worried about fixing that. It's easy enough just to spin this backwards. The amount of backlash that's in all of these, there's a half rotation of backlash in this. The indicators for all the feed dimensions are completely messed up. And I think that's just because there is a spring a ball bearing and a set screw that needs to go in these holes and they need to be set correctly. So that'll take care of that. So the cross sled just needs to be completely taken apart, but I'm gonna save that for another video. Yeah, so that's it. I am super excited to have the lathe now. Um, it's running great. I'm not having any power issues with the one and a half horsepower motor. It cuts what I need and it cuts really well. So I think that's about it for this one. Thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I always enjoy sharing these projects like this. On to the next one. I'll see y'all later. Bye everybody.